Welcome back. Today we're making something wicked magical, healthy, and delicious. Using cauliflower, we'll start by making a gut healthy and warming drink. And before we get into that, I just want to share that we've launched these amazing frozen pizzas into Kroger stores. Now we want you to cook. I want you to get into the kitchen and cook, take control. But when you don't have time or you just don't want to cook, we have these amazing wicked solutions all ready for you to go. It's back to the show. So this recipe is comprised of three ingredients, as I mentioned, cauliflower, ginger, and miso for the broth. First, we're gonna break down the cauliflower by trimming the leaves and breaking it down from the core, from inside out. So I'm gonna cut half of it into large chunks for blending and the other half into smaller bite-sized pieces that will fit on a spoon. Just imagine your grandmother eating it and what could fit on a spoon for her. That's how I like to think of it, oddly enough. I'm gonna add all of the cauliflower to a sauce pot. We're roughly about a liter and a half of water. Makes about seven to eight cups. We'll also be adding about a thumb-sized nub of ginger which I learned recently is super good for anxiety and depression and helps soothe tummy aches and treats nausea. So when you're peeling the ginger, use a spoon. It helps with reducing the waste so you're using more of the actual ginger and it's way easier. I also like to save the skin for tea. Just boil it with a little bit of water, a lemon peel, a little bit of lemon juice and some agave, yum. Once you have all the things in the pot of water, Bring the cauliflower and ginger to a boil for about five minutes or so until the cauliflower is fork tender. A good way to tell if it's done is if you can pass a skewer through it and it still holds a shape. Then it's done. You're gonna wanna remove the larger pieces and place into a strainer before straining the rest of it. This is just a safety thing for me. I don't want big splashes. So make sure to save the liquid too and drain it into a different bowl added flavor and nutrition that we'll be adding into the recipe later. I definitely don't want to be wasting it. Then we're going to be placing the cooked cauliflower and ginger into the blender with a healthy portion of the fresh miso. This is going to make our super umami, creamy, gut-friendly, soothing broth. Then add the hot brothy water to the blender to cover and carefully blend until it's silky smooth. Once that's done, pour it into cups or soup bowls and enjoy. I make this pretty often and save some in the fridge for later. Warm it up when I want a healthy cup of comforting something to sip on. It's delicious and I know it's good for me. It'll last a couple days in the fridge. You might just want to stir it or shake it up well when you reheat it. And don't boil it. If you want the miso to still work, it's magic. Don't boil it. Warm is good. Warm is good. And there you have it. A super magical, creamy, thick, delicious, healthy, and warming, sippable, brothy soup. That's super good for your gut and mind health. So now we're just gonna jump right into making the chowder from the same broth that we just made. I'm gonna dice an onion quick, add it to a pot, and then I'll add a little bit of butter. So probably two tablespoons worth of butter. Here's where the no oil option is. You don't have to add this butter. You could just add a little bit of the broth to steam saute it instead. I have a couple of large red potatoes here. I'm just gonna cube these to be spoon size. Take a second, take your time, practice some knife skills. I like everything to be uniform if possible. I know it's kind of tough with the potato, but I do the best I can. Then we're gonna dice up some garlic quick, just a couple cloves, two or three, it's up to you. And add those right to the onions to saute those or sweat them out. And then I'll add the potatoes and the broth right to the onion saute and, and bring that, start to bring that to a boil. Here's the difference between like a normal chowder where you'd make a roux first and flour and butter and heavy cream. We're just not gonna, we're skipping that whole step. We're using the broth, the creamy cauliflower as the broth. Then I'm gonna zest one lemon and save the juice and add that to the dish in a minute. For the garnish, I'm just gonna prep up two or three stalks of kale, curly kale, and just pull them apart, shred them by hand to be spoon sized. So this will go in at the end. It'll add a, some great nutrition, obviously, kale's amazing, and color. Once everything's cooking along, potatoes and everything should almost be done. 
I'm gonna just trim up the extra cauliflower pieces, make sure they're small enough, and then pull apart the ginger that was in there. So we saved the ginger when we strained it. And I'm just gonna dice that up as well. So it's not large chunks of ginger you're biting into, it's just small, palatable, right with the cauliflower. So once that's all done, I'm just gonna add everything to the pot, add the extra broth. You don't wanna add too much, you don't want it too broth, too watery. and then just bring it up to a simmer. I'm only gonna simmer it for a few minutes because that broth is already hot. And for a garnish, I'm gonna use tofu, a whole block of tofu. I'm gonna dice it into the same uniform cubes. And then for each bowl, I'll be able to add equal amounts of tofu on top. And it'll be nice, it, I don't even have to heat this up. I can just add it to the hot soup so it's actually just super comforting and I can eat a lot of it. It's not going to be super, super hot, scalding hot. It's not going to burn my mouth. So I like to add season it with a little bit more pepper. You can add chili peppers. I would definitely wouldn't be adding any more salt. If you want, add a little bit more miso. Just mix that in there if you need it a little extra salty or something, because we just want this all super healthy and gut friendly. It's just super delicious that way. Just going to portion it up into the bowl, like a nice big bowl of this for dinner. It's great. A little bit of tofu on top. Man, I'm actually watching this like a few days, a few weeks after, and I could really go for this. My mouth's starting to water. Anyway, season it like you like, a little bit of ground pepper. Yeah, super delicious and comforting. I'm just gonna have Ira come over for a second opinion, see if he likes it. Ah, big fan. That's good. I don't have to redo it. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, thank you for joining. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. Smash that like button, subscribe. It all helps and it helps motivate me to do more of these videos for you guys. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. See you next time.